what's what's the worst no that you got in, oh in your career gosh. that you I can have, share on a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the oh my gosh, so many no's, so many no's, no's from people I was so tempted to put on pedestals. I'd say my Denny's tip money buying products in their stores, really painful no's. I think one of the most painful no's though, um, and the most powerful, the most painful and the most powerful would be when uh, we were down to no money, and this has been a couple years of no's from everybody, and we got a call from a potential uh, investor who was a private equity, a really well-known private equity mm -hmm. company. And I was like, oh, and they got in hold of our product, and they loved it, and I was like, this is gonna be amazing. Like I was telling my husband, I'm like, if they invest, then we're not gonna go bankrupt, and maybe they can use their power to get us in all these stores that keep telling me no, and, uh, and we did meeting after meeting after meeting. We got to the very final meeting, uh, and we presented our whole pipeline. You know, we had done, we had lawyers involved. Like it looked like a deal was going to happen. And uh, the very end of the meeting, uh, the head investor, he's about three feet from me, and his whole team was amazing. And he says to me, uh, "You know, congratulations. You should be really, really proud uh, on your product, but it's a no. We're going to pass on investing in it cosmetics." And I was like. Okay, um, can you tell me why? Because <laughs> at this point I had heard so many no's. Uh, and feedback is usually a gift. And I said, can you tell me why? Because um, at this point, Will, we were down to under $1,000 on our bank account, which meant we had just a few weeks left to keep the business alive. I didn't know how we were going to make it. Mm -hmm. And I was just like hoping he'd be my saving grace. And, um, and, and when I asked him, can you tell me why, he got really quiet. Mm -hmm. And then he says to me, do you want me to be really honest with you? And I said, yes, please. And he just got really quiet. And then he says to me, he's about three feet from me in person, and he says, I just don't think women will buy makeup from someone who looks like you with your body and your weight. Mm -hmm. And when he said those words to me, I actually never got mad at or angered toward him at all. It was like a lifetime of body doubt and self-doubt, like literally like flooded my body. And when I, when I was watching him say those words, like it felt like I was staring my own fear uh, straight in the eye. And, but, but why this no was so painful but also so powerful is because that moment he said those words to me when he said, I just don't think a little by makeup from someone who looks like you with your body and your weight – I got this feeling so strong. We talk about gut feelings. I got this feeling so strong, like in the pit of my gut. Like I feel like it was yesterday that said he's wrong. Mm -hmm.